Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Every parent knows how challenging their child's kindergarten can be. It's a big adjustment they need to make, and sometimes it can be hard to tell what they are actually going through. But when Father Thomas Valero heard his daughter crying every day after school and complaining she had to go to college, he knew something was wrong. Since she would not tell him what made her sad, he decided to take action in his own hands and do something about it. What he found shocked him down to his core after his investigation. Everyone knows that starting school can be a difficult and tough time for most kids. It's a big transition to make and a kid will really struggle without the proper support systems. Although this might be as difficult as it is, having a rude instructor may also make the task a lot harder. When Thomas Valero noticed his daughter becoming emotional whenever she had to go to school or when she came back from class, he decided to do some investigation. Every parent wants nothing but the best for their children, and when their child is in pain, it is normal for a parent to be concerned. After starting at her new school, Thomas realized that his daughter was becoming increasingly emotional. He only chalked it up to the nerves at first, but as her moaning and desire to avoid school intensified, Thomas realized there was something else going on here. He had to get to the root of that problem. It had become clear as the days turned into months that all the love and enthusiasm he knew his daughter had left for her, with each day she became more and more terrified and would continuously complain about going to school. Thomas had talked to her many times before about the issue, but she was always reluctant to tell the truth. It was clear, however, that something had to be done or else his daughter would get worse and worse. Thomas's daughter had just enrolled at the elementary school in Pine Grove, where she started her kindergarten. Thomas had never noticed anything out of the ordinary regarding his daughter until that point. She was a healthy young child who easily made friends and had a creative flair for her son. Soon after she started at school, however, her attitude changed and she began to become more and more emotional. Thomas was sure the school she was at had something to do with it. Thomas's daughter had been a good student right up to that point. Her grades were good and she'd often received positive reports from her teacher. After a few months at school though, her grades had started to drop and she continued to find herself getting upset after school every day and sometimes even before she left. Thomas could not bear seeing his daughter being this way. He felt helpless as a father to help. Any parent should be concerned about the well-being of their child, especially if they're constantly sad all the time. Thomas became increasingly worried. The more he tried to find out what had happened to his daughter, the more she shrank off. Thomas figured that either her fellow classmates were bullying her, or worse yet, a teacher. They had a pretty stable and happy home life, so he realized it had to be an external issue. Exercising patience is incredibly important in life. It's really one of the most important virtues we can learn, although it's hard to really understand. This is most true in the educational field, especially when dealing with young children. Although anyone who has spent some time with kids will know that they can be a challenge to handle, stepping into that position means you need to learn patience. The daughter of Thomas was still in her childhood years, and this meant that she was still in her years of growth. These are some of the most important times in our lives, and the things that happen to us during these years are often going to shape the kind of people we grow into later in life. It is important to develop a strong sense of self and to nurture the best in children. One impatient teacher for the rest of their lives can have negative effects on a child. Being a resourceful person, Thomas realized he had to find out on a regular basis exactly what was going on with his daughter. There was no way for him to be sure, as she was too shy and young to explain what was going on with her. As a father, with every passing day, he couldn't just sit back and watch his poor child grow sadder and sadder. At last, he thought it would be a good idea to listen in. When we say listening in, we mean that Thomas wanted to plant in his daughter's hair bun a tiny hearing aid. If he could listen in during a regular school day, 
there would be a better chance of understanding what was going on with her. While realizing this was a bit drastic, he wanted to find the underlying cause of what was happening in class and at the same time have proof. Thomas was eager to get the results from school day for his daughter. When he began listening through the recording, what he heard astonished him. It was obvious that the teacher took advantage of her power. It was hard for Thomas to accept that someone who was supposed to look after kids could be so callous. Feeling unhappy with the kind of teacher trouble he was dealing with, Thomas figured it would be best for him to take the issue to the District of Public Schools. Despite having a perfectly good reason to complain, Thomas received no support from the school system as well as the evidence that he needed to prove his case. The problem with this type of treatment is that a teacher for the rest of their lives can have lasting effects on a child. Any fears or habits that they pick up because of their exposure to such a teacher will likely remain with them for the rest of their life. If Thomas had not witnessed the change in attitude in his father, he would never have known how serious the issue was. More than just his kid, it affected. Any parent knows that being a good mentor represents a challenge. This often means you have to criticize and scrutinize your own actions before anything else can be done. As you can imagine, this is not an easy task, but nevertheless an important one. Though he had tried his best to be a good mentor, Thomas had also learned that there were some things out of his hands. It was important to take action and to take responsibility for his daughter's well-being. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.